Okay, so on 22, you're back to figure out the equation of the line and put it in slope-intercept form. And if you just want to put it in slope-intercept form, you need the slope and the y-intercept. Uh, we have neither in this problem. We have a random point, 6, negative 7. That is not a y-intercept because if it were a y-intercept, the x-coordinate would be 0. It ain't. We also don't have the damn slope. <laughs> I mean, they didn't give it to us. Before, it was like, here, you know, solve it. Here's the, here's the slope. Um, and then it got a little harder, and they still didn't give us a slope, but they gave us two points, and we, we used the slope formula to figure it out. But this one's giving me a point and an equation. But it's telling me that the line that I am looking for goes through the point 6, negative 7, and is perpendicular to, uh, let's go with pink this time, perpendicular to this point, this line here. Okay, my line, the line I'm looking for, is perpendicular to that one I just highlighted in pink, which means the slope that I need is going to be the opposite reciprocal of that line's slope. So I'm going to start by figuring out the slope of the line they gave me. And to do that, I will solve it for y. I am going to add 9x to both sides, just like I have done in the past. And of course, that cancels out. So I get negative 2y, and I'm going to put the 9x in front of the minus 40. Instead of negative 40 plus 9x, I wrote 9x minus 40. And then I'm going to divide off the negative 2, but I have to distribute it on the right. And of course, negative 2 over negative 2 cancels. And so I get y equals, it's a positive 9 divided by a negative 2. So it's going to be a negative. Positive divided by a negative is a negative. 9 halves x and negative 40. I got to do this here. Negative 40 divided by negative 2. That's a negative divided by a negative. So it's a positive 20. Now, the slope. Come on. There we go. The slope of the pink line is negative 9 halves. My line, my line is perpendicular to the pink one. So I need a slope that is opposite reciprocal of this one. The opposite of a negative is a positive, and the reciprocal of 9 halves is 2 ninths. And now at this point, I have my slope, I have a random point, I can go back to the point slope formula, which is this guy, and I know that my 2 ninths is going to go right here. And then my random point that they gave me, let's see, y sub 1 is this y coordinate. So that's going to go there. And the 6 is my x coordinate. That's my x sub 1. It's going to go there. So this is going to be y minus the yellow is a negative 7. And that's 2 ninths, and then it's x minus, the green is a 6. And there you go. Subtracting a negative is adding a positive. And then on this side, I will have to distribute the 2 ninths to the x minus 6. So 2 ninths times x is a 2 ninths x minus 2 ninths times 6 is going to be 12 ninths. And now I have to finish. It says put the answer in slope intercept form. So I have to subtract 7 on both sides. 
And so I get y is equal to 2 nines x minus, let's see, I don't like to use my calculator. So minus 12 ninths minus 7. 7 is the same thing as 7 over 1. If I multiply it by 9 to get a denominator of 9, 7 times 9 would make the numerator 63. And negative 12 and a negative 63 is 75 ninths. But those are both divisible by 3, so kind of running out of room here. Oh, go this way. So my final simplified answer would be y equals 2 ninths x minus 25 thirds. Whew. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> Had a lot of thinking to do on that one. Hope you followed it.